Hi guys, my name is Christy Bates. I am a townie, um, I'm also a farmer. And for the last six months or so, I have been volunteering my time to go around different groups of people, trying to encourage them to take a look at the Agribusiness Management Diploma and maybe inspire them to, to increase their business and finance skills, which is a critical part of, of our success in the farming industry. Tim, my husband, has been farming for most of his life. He gradually built up his own stock of cows. He went to about 80 odd cows. So with that in mind, we actually found our very first share milking job in Patarudu, uh 2002, milking 200 cows on 65 hectares. It was a bit of a push. We had quite a low equity at the time. I was working in town, I was working in Hamilton and we were basically living off my income and everything from the farm was, was going straight back into the farm. At the end of that year we were looking to expand but we couldn't find a larger share milking job so we had found a second share milking job across the other side of Patarudu. We also had another couple of kids so it was a really busy time um, in our careers at that stage. 2007, I completed the National Certificate in Business and Financial Planning. This was probably the first real turning point in our business. All of a sudden, my office was streamlined. I had a farm management plan of the whole season, outlining day-to-day -day and month-to-month -month tasks required, both in office and on farm, enabling precise budgets, cash flows and tax planning. At the end of our six years in our initial share milking career, we came across an opportunity with Carter Holt. They were converting 29 dairy farms and we were lucky enough to secure the contract for Puma Farm. Some of the challenges we had there, we, we went to a higher than normal farm working expenses. Conversion farms are hard, I'm not sure if any of you have been involved with them, but we had stick stumps and piles everywhere. We had metabolic issues, we had mineral deficiencies, grass scrub which wiped out probably half the farm and multiple staff members. So that in itself was a challenge as we didn't know much about it at all. In 2011, we purchased our runoff in Kaharaua, which is between Rotorua and Tauranga. In 2012, I looked at the next part of the diploma, which was resource management. The kids were older and they were at school or kindy, so I found a little bit of spare time. This one was a lot harder for me, it was, it was a more practically based assessment with modules like HR and recruitment, health and safety, market forces, action planning and analysis, ownership and tenure. There were a lot of questions fired at the hubby about grass growth rates, rotations and all sorts of stuff that I'd never had to deal with before. But once I had the data and action plans created, monitoring and analysing the information was very standard. Compliance and HR were hugely beneficial to me as I felt that they were areas of weakness in our business that I wanted to rectify. Probably the best thing I learnt throughout this process was how to set goals and achieve them. It's all very well to know where you want to go, but not everybody knows exactly how to get there. By breaking the big goals down into small steps and actions and monitoring them, you will achieve what you want out of farming quickly. I learnt to effectively plan both financially and physically for the farm, and I learnt to recognise opportunities. So we decided to utilise the high cash flows from last year and go ahead and convert Kara. As Tim was still busy running the share job back in Tokara, I was responsible for the coordination of everything from the building of the cow shed to the numerous resource consents. We had to get three phase power into the farm. Transit New Zealand, we had to widen not only the driveway but the road and the huge amount of earthworks involved in all the racing. Okay, so here's our equity growth over the last 12 years of our share milking career. You can clearly see in 2007, 2008 where the graph starts to climb quite quickly. There were two main things that happened around this time. I completed the business and financial planning certificate, so we knew how to start planning our goals and form action plans. We also secured the largest share milking job and consolidated our herd. Through this we gained a greater scale of economy and huge stock growth opportunities through natural increase and surplus stock sales in later years. Here are some of the key drivers of our success anyway. The diploma was obviously the huge turning point for us. Uh, it gave us the edge in securing the largest share milking job. It also improved credibility and communication with our rural professionals. And it gave us the tools to plan and manage a large business effectively. As farmers, we often sell ourselves short. We are not just milking cows, we are running high turnover, multi-million dollar operations. And if we worked in town, we would have flash 
titles and six-figure salaries. This qualification gave me the confidence and financial understanding required to run a large dairy business or any other business for that matter as the main principles of commerce are universal. As we've now ended our shamwalking career and made the jump into farm ownership, I've had time to reflect on our journey and I have no doubt that we wouldn't be here so soon if it wasn't for the knowledge and tools I gained from the Agribusiness Management Diploma. So arming yourselves with all the tools and knowledge available through formal learning, seminars and rural professionals is essential to fast tracking your plans and goals, whatever they may be. Thank you.